Now, you want to argue or you want to make love? The decade that gave the world bell-bottoms and disco also produced some of cinema's greatest film couples. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 unforgettable movie couples of the 1970s. Um, would you like a glass of wine? Uh, no, no thanks. I never drink when I fly. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we will be looking exclusively at live-action film couples. So animated film couples, such as Duchess and Thomas O'Malley, need not apply. Additionally, couples that only hook up later in a franchise, such as Han Solo and Princess Leia, didn't make the cut. You know, sometimes I amaze even myself. That doesn't sound too hard. Number 10. Paula McFadden and Elliot Garfield, The Goodbye Girl. I said it was formal, kid. <laughs> Sometimes the most unusual of circumstances brings people together. In this classic 70s romance, Paula and her 10-year-old daughter find themselves sharing an apartment with an actor by the name of Elliot. While the relationship gets off to a rocky start, Elliot and Paula soon find themselves falling for one another. What color should we paint the bedroom? Successful. What makes this couple great is their willingness to learn from the mistakes of their past. While both have experienced heartbreak and failure, they never give up. This in turn makes them a stronger couple, able to endure any issues that come their way. I'm a sucker for romance. Number 9. Superman, also known as Clark Kent and Lois Lane. Superman. Easy, miss. I've got you. You... you've got me? Who's got you? <laughs> All great superheroes need a love interest. Someone to care for through the good times and the bad and maybe to save from the occasional criminal genius who wants them dead. In the film that finally brought the Man of Steel to the big screen, Superman must defend the Earth from Lex Luthor, while balancing his relationship with Lois Lane, a reporter from the Daily Planet. And how big are you? How tall are you? Uh, about 6'4". This couple not only has to deal with the pitfalls of modern relationships, but also aliens and corrupt businessmen. Plus, trying to pick an appropriate restaurant for a first date is infinitely harder when there's a chance of a missile headed in your direction. Uh, Lois, we uh, did, did have a date tonight, uh, remember? Oh. Number 8. Kit Carruthers and Holly Sargis, Badlands. I'm not keeping you from anything important, am I? No. Not all film couples are perfect. Sometimes they murder each other's parents, fake their own deaths, and embark on a killing spree en route to the Montana Badlands. Or at least this couple did. After they burn down their home to make it look like they're dead, Kit and Holly hit the road in search of more violent adventures. If I sing a song about the way I feel right now, it'd be here. These celluloid lovers are perfect for one another. They're young, beautiful, and have a tendency to throw caution to the wind. When push comes to shove, they'll kill whoever stands in the way of their happiness. But in the end, it's a recipe for disaster. You tired? Yeah. Yeah, you look dark. Number 7. Oliver Barrett IV and Jennifer Jenny Cavallari. Love Story. Don't. Love means never having to say you're sorry. It would be foolish to make a list of the greatest film couples without including Oliver and Jenny from Love Story. This romantic drama is not only responsible for one of the most famous film quotes about love in cinematic history, but also for its excellent portrayal of what happens when two people from opposite ends of the social spectrum fall for one another. Oliver and Jenny make the list for their undying devotion to each other. Through thick and thin, they stay together, shunning society and their families in the process. For this film couple, the only thing that matters is keeping the flame of love alive. Oh, what is this? I'll tell you after we cross the threshold. Number 6. Katie Morosky and Hubble Gardner, The Way We Were. We'll both be wrong. We'll both lose. Couldn't we both win? As the old adage goes, opposites attract. Yet sometimes a couple is unable to overcome their immense differences. This film follows Katie, a political activist with strong moral convictions, and Hubble, a passive screenwriter always looking to take the easy way out. Do things still come too easily? Huh? While an obvious passion exists between them, the underlying question plaguing their lives is whether or not they can look past each other's glaring faults. Noted for its realistic portrayal of a troubled relationship, the film came in at number 6 on AFI's 100 Years 100 Passions, a ranking of the 100 greatest love stories in the history of American film. If I push too hard, it's because I want things to be better. Number 5. Harold and Maude. Harold and Maude. Like some licorice. 
This is easily the most unconventional couple to make the list. Young Harold is obsessed with death, often attending funerals to fulfill his strange preoccupation. When he runs into Maude at one of these viewings, the two quickly realize they have more in common than they could ever have imagined. Harold, everyone has the right to make an ass out of themselves. You can't let the world judge you too much. While there is a considerable age difference between the two characters, they never let it get in the way of their unique love story. Ultimately, Maude provides Harold with a new outlook on life. So when she eventually passes, he is able to continue on. Go and love someone. Number 4. Rocky Balboa and Adrian. Rocky. Rocky! The climax to this underdog story has Sylvester Stallone's titular character screaming for his one true love after going toe to toe with the greatest boxer in the world. While much of the film is devoted to Rocky's dream of becoming a professional boxer, the storyline that imbues the most heart into the narrative is the Italian stallion's devotion to his girlfriend, Adrian. This film couple comes from humble beginnings. And even when they make it to the top of the world, the only thing that matters is their love for one another. In the end, boxing takes a back seat to one of the greatest love stories of the decade. <laughs> Number 3. Isaac Mortimer Davis and Mary Wilkie, Manhattan. Facts. I got a million facts at my fingertips. That's right, they don't mean a thing. You'd be hard pressed to make a list of iconic film couples without mentioning Woody Allen at least once. Manhattan is the renowned director's dramatic ode to the Big Apple, as well as a hilarious rom-com. Isaac is a 40-something divorced comedy writer currently dating a teenager. His best friend is having an affair with a woman named Mary. It doesn't take long before Isaac and her find some common ground, ultimately leading to a little romantic entanglement. Everything happened. You, do, you don't do you have promise? to worry. Do you really uh -huh, promise? Uh -huh. Because I do. I like you a lot. I feel good around you. Mm, I don't blame you. <laughs> From nighttime walks through the city to visiting a planetarium, this couple worked because of their ability to discuss anything and everything. However, in true Woody Allen fashion, his character finds a way to ruin it. I'm in a state of, uh, somebody should throw a blanket over me, you know. I'm... Number two, Alvy Singer and Annie Hall. Annie Hall. I, I love you. You know, I loathe you. I, I love you. No. With two Fs, yes. I, I have to invent. Yeah, of course I do. The master of neurotic New York City romance is at it again in this 70s film classic. Woody Allen does it all writing, directing, and starring in one of the few romantic comedies to win the Oscar for Best Picture. The film is about an angst-riddled comedian who falls head over heels for the titular Annie Hall, played by the always charming Diane Keaton. Still the thrill that it was the day I found you. The two actors appear born for their respective roles providing a more than convincing portrayal of two people struggling to understand their own complicated relationship. Whether they were drinking wine on a balcony or boiling lobsters together, Alvy and Annie made for a truly unforgettable couple. Maybe we should just call the police. Dial 911, it's the lobster squad. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Daisy, I'd like you to meet my neighbor, Mr. Jay Gatsby. Mr. Gatsby, this is my cousin, Daisy Buchanan. We've met. Before. I can remember the first time I ever saw you. Huh? Never seen hair as black as yours. It's again so pretty. Well, all right. All right. All right. Can I have some more coffee now? All right. Number one, Danny Zuko and Sandy Olsen, Greece. Danny, is this the end? <laughs> of course not. It's only the beginning. If you want to talk about iconic 70s film couples, one stands above the rest. Immortalized by downright sexy performances turned in by John Travolta and Olivia Newton John, this musical is one of the greats. Danny is a bad boy greaser who falls in love with the sweet Sandy while on summer vacation. However, when the season ends and they part ways, it doesn't take long before they're unknowingly reunited at a high school pep rally. Sandy! Danny? What are you, what are you doing here? Unforgettable is hardly a strong enough word to describe this couple, as their roles as star-crossed lovers from different social circles has transcended the genre and become one of the most recognizable in film history. Do you 
agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.